how would I want the USAID administrator uh, to act? What, what should our motivations be uh, as a country? Samantha Power, the new head of the U.S. Agency for International Development, sat down with 60 Minutes Plus correspondent Enrique Acevedo. And in the interview, she shares how she plans to address challenges like immigration, COVID, and climate change while attempting to restore American credibility abroad. And Enrique joins us live this morning from Miami with a preview. Good to see you, and thanks a lot for being with us, Fran. Good morning. Buenos dias, L.A. It's just uh, <laughs> great to be with you guys. I love hearing that, Buenos Dias. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Enrique. Same to you. So what does Samantha Power plan to accomplish in this role of administrator of the U.S. Agency for International Development? She told us her top priorities are just these you know, huge challenges like climate change, the effects of the pandemic, uh, conflict around the world, uh, specifically in Central America, where we were uh, with her along uh, for her first trip abroad. Now, she wants to address what she calls the root causes of immigration. So we've talked a lot about how um, extreme poverty, uh, bad governance, climate change, all that play a role in people's decision to leave their homes and, and try to make it to the U.S.-Mexico border. But now she's being, I guess, uh, emphasizing how corruption is also a factor and how governments in the region have to do a better job in terms of uh, um, you know, the, the democratic backsliding we've seen in, the, in, in, the, in recent months in order to keep those populations at home and, and give them the hope to stay. Enrique, Samantha is an immigrant herself. What did she tell you about this in her own story? Yeah, that's a great question. She immigrated from Ireland at the age of nine. She um, first arrived in Pittsburgh. Um, I think she sees the world, or at least she tries to see the world through the eyes of others. Um, she... Um, told us that she's constantly trying to analyze American influence around the world with a sense of empathy. Um, how people would expect the USAID administrator in this case to behave and, and to engage with them. And I think that's what she tried to do um, during her visit where she met with several people in Honduras, not just heads of state, but just, you know, people, uh, the civil society in, this three, in these three countries. And we just showed a shot of her book that won the Pulitzer Prize, and she's trying to tackle so many issues with the, mm -hmm. our country. What other topics did you discuss with her? That's right. She's a Pulitzer Prize winner for her uh, 2002 or 2003 book, um, America and the Age of Genocide. She covered this in, in places like Sudan, in places like Yugoslavia. Um, and she also was also the, the former U.S. ambassador to the United Nations. So she has experience both at the forefront of U.S. foreign policy and at the front lines of, of, of the coverage of these important and, and just impactful uh, issues like genocide. So we also talked about climate change, how that's displacing populations at a very you know, uh, exponential rate. Um, and, and, and I guess she's going to be a, a force to be reckoned with as, as USA administrator, and we'll see how she performs in that job. A fascinating story, and it's just incredible that you were able to get the access, you know, uh, to her. I mean, she's not easily accessible because of her position, so we appreciate that and the story. Also got to tell you, I love your beard, man. It's always good to have you on, and you did a wonderful job on CTM as well, CBS This Morning. So uh, the best of luck to you. And Enrique, before that. you go, can I just say as a Latina, I was so proud you made history as the first correspondent for 60 Minutes. Well, thank you so much. It was about time, 53, 54 years, and, and I, I'm just uh, very lucky to, to, to be able to tell the stories that are important to us, to our community, and, and hopefully to represent well. So thanks. Go ahead on, brother. Long overdue. All right, thank you very much, and good to see you, man. Have a good day. And you can watch Enrique's full report right now on 60 Minutes Plus. It's available on the Viacom CBS streaming app, Paramount Plus. 54 years. I know. 54 it's years. About it's about time. It's about time. Yes, it is. <laughs>